Hello world! It's me, Angela Live 365, and it's Saturday, and it's been a good day. You know, um, I used to get really wrapped up about making sure that um, I was being like overly productive. Yes, I do have my hair in a half a puff down, by the way. I don't remember the last time I wore my hair like this, probably when I was like, I don't know, 12. <laughs> so I don't really know why I'm wearing it like this, but I thought it looked cute, you know, a few hours ago. And now it looks a bit ragged, but that's okay. So um, I, yeah, I used to get wrapped up in how um, I was trying to be productive every day, you know, working on an online business and as an entertainer, performer, um, you're always trying to go out for auditions. You're always trying to like make the most of your time as po much as possible. And um, then I kind of like forgot to just like relax and enjoy life. And you know, we're never promised tomorrow. And what if like today I had spent all day working? You know, I just have a feeling. I just think that we're not put on this earth to just work. You know. Um, it's great if you can find a job that you love and that um, you feel like is your calling and that um, when you wake up you're so excited to go to work or you work from home or um, you know maybe your job is being a mom you know those are great if you feel like that's what you're supposed to do with your life then go go for it you know I just personally um, you know I have a few businesses and I love singing and I love performing but I also know there's more to life than doing things like that and there's it's it's about spending the time with people you love my mom has been away for a week and so today was the first time spending some time with her so I kind of took the afternoon off we had um, actually had an English high tea a lot of a few of our friends came over and we made a Victoria sponge cake and we also made um, scones and egg and crust sandwiches which I think are disgusting because I don't like egg because it's gross because that could have been a chicken but that's just me and I also think egg boiled egg smells like a dirty fart so I can't eat it but that's just me um and we had um cream cheese and cucumber sandwiches, which were delicious. So it was really cute. We had a lot of teapots. My mom collects teapots and teacups and things like that. So um, she uh, she had those out and everybody had a really good time. And we kind of just talked about, you know, the traditions we have in England and things like that. So it was a really good afternoon, you know. It was, it's times like this that you realize, you know, it's really not all about work and, um, it's all, you know, okay, so uh, being an online business, it's all about doing um, things that are income producing. So a lot of times it's like running ads. It's a lot of like back channel stuff, you know, behind the scenes, like on the back end of the, of the website. Um, but hopefully we'll produce income in the future. So sometimes you can kind of get wrapped up and just like not stop. There's many times in the week where... I'll teach class in the morning till nine. I'll take like 30 minute coffee break and then I'll continue working until like 10 o'clock at night until I go to bed. Granted, I'll have some breaks for lunch, and things like that. But you know, when you work for yourself, it's not a nine to five job. I don't know if any of you work for yourself, but I'm sure you can attest that it's hard to, to kind of get that balance of working and not working and um, when you need to give yourself that breather. So. Definitely, um, this week has been um, kind of like a stepping stone to that, to try to realize being productive is great, but also overworking is not good because, you know, we only have one life and I don't want to waste it just working. I want to be doing things that I enjoy, you know. Um, I'm on a budget and, um, you know, I've... I've if you're watching this and you and you do know me I've worked on cruise ships for the last like eight years so I'm used to having a lot of residual or um, disposable income I guess the word is because you know no rent no food like purchases or anything like that so that 
has been very different for having a year off um, because of immigration, but um, it's been very different to have that uh, income switch. And so trying to find ways to do things that we love and do things that we enjoy, but without having to spend like a hundred dollars on it, you know, try to, um, you know, go to the park or just go for a walk or go to the town and, um, grab a coffee, you know, uh, to not beat myself up for spending like $5 on a coffee or a glass of wine. That's okay. Um, so just trying to find small ways to really enjoy the time while I am like on this tight budget until I either um, start my next performing job or go back to a ship or the online business starts um, bringing in more money than it has been. So um, yeah, it's a big transition period and doing these videos has really helped me to just kind of keep up to date and keep myself in check of how that I can really make this, you know, a good lifestyle for myself. You know, um, I think like with our generation, everybody says like, oh, millennials. And I don't really know if I'm a millennial or, I mean, I know I'm not a millennial, but sometimes I feel like the way the world has changed so much since we have been, um, kind of in this transition of like the internet and online business and everything is like at your fingertips 24 hours a day. Um, it's, it's, it's been a big change and I think like, okay, so I am 33 and you know, I'm married. Yes, but I don't, well, I technically own two houses, but I don't live in them. <laughs> They're in Ohio. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't have kids. I'm not, well, I guess I am quite typical for today, but considering where like the shift has gone, you know, when I was growing up, it would be normal to like for a 23, 24 year old to be married, have a kid, a house, maybe two kids. And now all my friends are like having babies at like 30 and over 30, 35. So, um, if that's like a big switch to now think like it's okay, you know, um, society kind of puts this thing on us like, well, if you're not married and you don't own a house and you don't have a kid by 35, like you're a failure in life. And, um, it's really hard to kind of like beat that out of yourself because it's been beaten in to you your whole life by social media. Well, I guess social media didn't really exist, but like the media and, um, just, society in general, um, our elders, things like that. So, um, I don't really know how I got on that tangent, but this week, I, that's kind of been one of my focuses is just really figuring out how that's, how that changes for me and how I need to look at life because, um, I did this video on YouTube about like the five things, um, I've learned about how to stay positive. And for me, it's like all about my morning routine and starting off my day kind of with like that 100% go ahead, like this is gonna be positive, that's what helps me. Um, but like, do I do it every day? Can I say that I am 100%? Like, no, and I don't think anybody out there who says that they do things like that 100%, none of them are telling the truth. So that's what I think anyway. So I think it's, you know, it's all about finding what's right for you and that's kind of like how my week's been. So it was kind of cool to have um, the English tea today because it was um, bringing back memories of home um, in England and even though I never drink tea in England because I don't like English tea. I know, I don't even know if I'm really English. But, um, but yeah, it was nice to have that connection back and a lot of people don't even know that I'm from England because obviously I've lost my accent, but that's what high school kids will do when they make fun of you. You will make it um, your, your goal in life to change your accent. Um, and then also being in the performing world, I was constantly being told I had to put on an American accent to fit in with the play or musical or whatever. So um, it kind of just stopped. But it's okay. I like it, I guess.
Sometimes I miss my old accent, but I certainly like the fact that most people can understand me because I'm from Liverpool and Liverpool accents are sometimes even the hardest to um, understand. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going into Sunday excited and um, you know, this will be three weeks I've done my live videos. So only um, 49 weeks to go <laughs> to complete this year and who knows where I'll be in December, but I'm excited for the journey and um, I'm going to be coming to you live every day, telling you about my day and just giving you tidbits of what I've learned. Um, and if anything can help you, I would love that. So, um, if you haven't already, go over to my YouTube channel and check out any videos you've missed. And I'll be posting more things about five things I've learned videos. I will be recording one tomorrow. So, um, that should be up there also tomorrow. So, guys, that's it. I'm actually going to go teach now because Rodrigo and I are going to New York. So I want to make some extra play cash. So I picked up some extra classes um, teaching my Chinese kids in China on the internet. So um, that's what I'll be doing on my Saturday night. Nothing, nothing fancy for me here. I got my sweatpants on. I got my warm socks. And, I, and I'm staying in and teaching some English. Which... People who know me and have gone to school with me know that English was never my strongest <laughs> subject. So sometimes I think it's kind of funny that I teach it, but um, it's pretty basic English, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, world. It's good night for me, and I will see you tomorrow.